Okay, I thought I'd just uh, do a video on just a filler, really, just to put something on my channel. I'm, I don't normally fry chicken, but this is breast. This is um, corn fed. Hang on, let me just open the, the window. Okay. This is um, corn fed chicken. Actually, I think it's organic chicken. So I don't mind frying this, it's just a little bit of olive oil. And um, my, I haven't built my fridge yet, so I have to kind of like keep an eye on. I, I tend to buy meat as I go, you know. And you know you know how quick fish and chicken goes off, so I didn't really want to leave it any longer. And the plan is, earlier on, I cooked some green lentils. There's green lentils in there. And what I'll do is when the chicken is, is nearly done, I'll pour the green lentils into, into here. And then I'll stir it around. And then that's it really. I'll take some for myself. I'll leave it all in here. And then later on this evening when I get home, I'll put a couple of ladlefuls of this into, the, into this. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll warm it up in this. So that's the plan. I've just turned it over. I was watching YouTube videos while this was cooking, but uh, it's cooking quite quick. Um, I'm on my temporary stove at the moment because my gas has run out, as I've, I've, as I've mentioned rather boringly in another video. And in actual fact, I've run out of water as well, and it's very, very unlike me because I've got the thing is, you see, I've got I've got such a large tank. And I've got such a, a large capacity for gas that I forget about it. And um, I just haven't got round to, to filling the tank up and filling the gas up, really. I've just been just been busy working and get, I've come home from work and I can't really be bothered, you know. So I've got kind of like a temporary water container up there just to get me by. And then, of course, this, this little stove here, which is pretty handy. So... Uh, I'll just stop the video here and then I'll I'll cut it together, you know, the final product. Otherwise I'll just start rambling and it gets boring then. Okay, that's done. So here we go. By the way, this is not a cooking channel I've got. I'm just kind of waiting to I've got some idea, I've got I've got a lot of good content on my laptop. It's a bit of a story really, but I've got some content trapped on my laptop and um I'm just doing little filling videos because I've got 30 subscribers now Woo and I just want them to know that I'm still here you know so it's a little bit interesting it's boring as crap to most people but it's a little bit interesting to some so anyway here, here, goes, the, here goes the green lentils they look more like brown lentils to me I discovered, I discovered kind of by accident that if you soak your lentils for a while it saves, um, it saves cooking by about half and I kind of knew that with brown rice, but I didn't know that with lentils. And I actually found out by accident because I left the lentils in the water. And then I noticed they were getting thick. And then I, well, I googled it, and apparently, yeah, that's normal. So, that's, um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just going to heat this up. Really, it's very simple, deadly simple, but very, very good for you. You've got everything in there. You've got minerals, fiber, vitamins, you know, protein, carbohydrates. It, it, to be honest with you, it, it, and it, I, I put a couple of uh, stock cubes in there. Uh, I normally use vegetable ones, but um, in my sort of like uh, prepper food box, I got beef, chicken, and vegetable. And then I run out of my vegetable cubes, so I had to break into. My <coughs> Excuse me, I just ate a bit of chicken. I broke into my chicken cubes, so I got chicken stock in here. So it's really a yum yum meal. Uh, and for me, I mean, depending on what I do today, how much how much work I do or whatever, that there's. Two, two or three good meals, well two, two big meals in there in my opinion, because that's quite a big wok. So really all I'm doing now is heating the two together, blend those flavours in, and then I'll, um, I mean, I'll, I'll have, I'll have a, I'll have one meal and then I've got to go out, I've got to go to the, I've got to go post some eBay stuff and go to the bank and, oh, I've got to get a new pair of trousers because I've split my trousers, second time I've split my trousers, and, um, 
Yeah, I had a little interest. Well, I just want to have a little ramble while I'm, while I'm doing this. I, I had a bit of a, an, an interesting situation. These boots down here, I bought them, and they're, they're, Austrian, they're Austrian paratrooper boots. Now, the guy who sent them to me, I'm, convi <laughs> I'm convinced that one boot is... I, I, I'm convinced they're both from separate pair of boots, different boots. Anyway, I was walking into town, and I started to notice the, the, the bridge of my foot, the top of my foot started to hurt and then my toes started to hurt and then by, t by the time I got back from town I was limping not a good sign, I thought oh well <clears throat> I must have done the boot up too tight and as I'm walking it's digging into my foot so um, anyway I got home, took the boot off and thought nothing of it but I just noticed when I was walking across the floor this is, this is six days ago by the way it was hurting and basically it wasn't getting any better things, get, things normally get better with me and it wasn't getting any better and I, th and, and I do a lot of walking so I, 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 I do very often I walk 26, 26 miles through very beautiful places but 26 miles is a very normal walk for me and for the first time in my life I realised so this is what it's like to be crippled I know that sounds ridiculous to somebody in a wheelchair out there who might ever get to listen to this but I've always been very 100% you see and I was walking, I was walking into town limping along because I had to, I had to, I, re I had to, I had to I had to go to town so I had to walk on this thing you know which was making it worse and as I was feeling sorry for myself this guy this guy flew past me on a mountain bike with one leg so that that was a kind of bit of an interesting situation anyway I'd just like to report my I, I realized I had a pair of um, I had a pair of uh, I always sandals whatever you call them. I use them for, I use them for my inflatable when I go out fishing on my boat and I forgot all about them and I remember I thought to myself well I'll have to wear those and see if it makes it better fortunately it did and I just kept wearing them. I felt like a bit of a hippie walking into town with them. But my foot is 100% now, I'm glad to say. But that has made me realise never ever underestimate your feet. Or end, never underestimate anything for that, for that matter. Everything you have is, is very, very, very valuable. So now that looks hot enough to me and I'm going to eat it. So love you, squeeze your hug. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you did watch, <laughs> most of my videos only get one view. But I know there's a couple of people that watch. Uh, hope, hope everything's going alright for you love you, squeeze your hug you stay tuned for some interesting content there will be some um, I'm just learning about how to edit and stuff really yeah love you, squeeze your hug yeah. um, goodbye there you go hey presto time to eat see ya